Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of the All Around Growth Podcast, a show that provides insight and tools to build the life and homestead of our dreams. My name is Rob Kaiser, and I am your host. Today is Wednesday, July 20th, 2022, and the topic of today's show is mobility versus flexibility. So why the topic of mobility versus flexibility? Well, for anyone who may be unaware, we routinely discuss seven key areas in life. And those are financial, physical, personal development, uh, family, spiritual, social, and career. Now, these topics are interspersed with other topics that relate to the homestead directly, episodes with content pulled from the Farmer's Almanac, and basically things that I find interesting and things that I believe directly relate to building the life and homestead of our dreams. And in the case of today's show, we're going to discuss mobility versus flexibility. And if you want to discuss why we're talking about this, like a a, a lot of what prompted this chat, okay, and that involves an accident at the farmer's market recently. If you want to understand the full you know, context of why we're talking about the importance of mobility and flexibility, which ultimately resulted in the topic of mobility versus, <clears throat> excuse me, mobility versus flexibility. If you want to understand the full context behind this episode, you're going to have to join the chat, all right? And you can do so at t.me slash allaroundgrowth. So that's a great way to get more context than simply what you'll gain from the show notes, which quite frankly, guys, are going to be in depth. There's going to be a lot of links to what I'm talking about today. Um, And... With that said, let's dive right into it and firstly define mobility and flexibility. Now, mobility is the ability of a joint to actively move through a range of motion. All right, think about moving, think about doing, you know, shoulder rotations, right? You're moving that shoulder joint. That's a range of motion. And then <clears throat> flexibility is the ability of muscles to passively lengthen through a range of motion. Okay. Now, in this case, let's think about um, the typical like runner stretch, like standing up with your hand on a table or a countertop and pulling your quadricep and you know doing that runner stretch you're thinking you know working flat that flexibility so you know first of all these are very basic definitions and secondly i'm no expert in any of this and like much of the show i'm sharing my own experience and thirdly this experience and these definitions come from an individual online named tom merrick otherwise known as the body weight warrior. And he points out one thing is that whether we're talking mobility or flexibility, we're talking about increasing and improving our range of motion. All right? It's simple. Now, in past episodes of the show, of this podcast, I have discussed the various yoga, tai chi, and Qigong programs that I had used for movement in the past. And these were programs that I, well, hell, way back in the day, I used to use them with on videos. And then I had, you know, DVDs. And then recently, most recently, I used a streaming service known as Gaim. 
And while this is still a great streaming service and app, I chose to cut it when eliminating expenses. And hopefully I can get back to a point where I can include that in my lifestyle again, because, well, I thought it was a, I, I, I enjoyed it. But in an effort to find other alternatives for these movement routines while saving money, my research led me to this individual that I recently mentioned, Tom Merrick. Now in a video in the show notes titled Mobility Versus Flexibility, you know, he makes no differentiation between mobility and flexibility. And when I wanted to, you know, do a little bit of research on mobility and flexibility and discuss, you know, the, the, the either or, you know, mobility versus flexibility, m my first thought was, let's see if what Tom has to say. All right. And of course, well, and luckily he made a video on it, which makes this podcast a little easier for me because um, it, 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 it kind of, you know, validated my own thoughts on mobility, flexibility, and so on and so forth. And like, basically, as you see other videos that he has, he titles his videos with mobility or flexibility, largely based on the style of the routine that he created, right? Um, the style of the the particular the particular workout, if you will. Um, now these aren't sweat. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. I shouldn't have even said the word workout because for some that's going to turn some people off. Um, ah, anyways, now whether you do yoga, tai chi, or or any kind of you know body weight training like this, and when I say body weight, I mean no equipment required, no nothing required. You know, what, no matter what you do, what matters is that you do it. And more importantly, that you do it consistently. All right. Now I firmly believe that this practice more so than any cardiovascular practice that I've engaged in over the years has contributed to my, my own improved health and well-being. Okay, so, you know, think about that. For those of you who are new to the show or, or may not already know if you're, you know, have been an active listener for a while, over the past, uh, you know, 10, 12 years or so, I have lost over 100 pounds. Yet at the same time, I believe that simple movement routines on a consistent basis are more valuable to your overall health and wellness than cardiovascular exercise. Things like running. Why? Because if you eat like shit, you feel like shit and you are less inclined to do movement routines. Whereas oftentimes if you run, you're more, you know, you're more inclined to take a rest day and then reward yourself for all the work that you've done. But you can do movement routines daily, but you don't really want to do them if you feel like garbage. And oftentimes we feel like garbage if we eat garbage. So basically if we make our goals simple, like a five minute routine in the morning and a five minute routine in the evening, or just even a five minute routine once a day, we begin to slowly improve our diet. And if we begin with our diet and focus on and clean up our diet, we begin to feel better. 
we, when we begin to feel better, we begin to want to move better. We naturally begin to move better. And when we incorporate simple mobility and flexibility routines along with cleaning up our diet, we feel better. And I mean truly feel better. And when we really experience that for the first time, we want to feel more of it. Now, personally, most of my life has been cyclical, right? And in phases. And like I said, while I began doing these routines in my 20s, these Gaia, um, uh, which I think was just called Gaia at the time, or even under a different, different brand name, um, I wasn't consistent with them in my 20s. And quite frankly, I walked away from all movement during my 30s. Like all of it. And even into my 40s. And that was when I was my heaviest and the worst shape of my life. And I used to make the argument that, you know, well, I work hard at work. And I'm very active at work. And, you know, well, I mean, yeah, but it was a convenient excuse and one that led to the realization that I've created a life full of excuses. And that was why. I was fat and that was why I was unhappy and that was why I was miserable in large part and continued that pattern even if I made some progress in some area of my life. It was cyclical. I always went back. I always, you know, kind of, I just couldn't keep, couldn't get it together. So is this current phase of my life any different? Well, the short answer is yes. All right, much of the difference is attributed to the positive results I've achieved through movement routines. Well, all right, check that. Positive results through consistent movement routines. Now, in the show notes, I'm going to link to the best videos that Tom Merrick has to begin with, and I'm going to suggest um, beginning with the five minute videos and then working up from there. All right. Like make time for them in the morning, every morning, preferably upon waking and preferably before doing anything else, before your coffee, before your, you just get up, do this, make it a new habit. And if that just doesn't work, make it a habit sometime in the day. There are no excuses to not incorporate movement routines into your life, especially a five minute routine. Okay. Now when you've done a five minute routine consistently for a minimum of three weeks, you can consider one of the other alternatives that I'll list below those, but I want you to keep this movement goal simple. Five minutes each morning upon waking for a minimum of 21 days. All right. That's just over an hour of movement routines over the course of three weeks, right? So if you watch TV or if you play video games, and you're not happy with your physical health. I need you to really think about this. All right. So again, the show notes are going to contain links to my own favorite movement routines from Tom Merrick, beginning with that five minute routine. And then below that, I'll link to uh, a few others that I've really grown to enjoy over the past, uh, oh, past few months, I suppose. Whenever it was that I, whenever it was that I changed banks and let my subscription lapse. Um, so yeah, a few months I've been following these routines and uh, in short, the nice 
thing or in, conclo in closing, the nice thing about Tom Merrick is he's got a lot of specific um, videos, you know, got a tight back, lower back pain. He's got videos to address that tight hips, hip problems. He's got hip videos to address that. You want to work on your hamstrings. He's got videos to address that. So, you know, but for us, what we're going to do with flexibility, mobility, we're not going to worry about the definition so much. We're just going to worry about consistent routines and consistent implementation of them in our lives. So begin with that five minute mobility routine and then consider some of the other routines listed in the show notes and keep this video or this podcast available for reference because Tom, while I love him, he's got a lot of content out there. It's easy to get lost in all of his videos. So to make it easy in this mobility versus flexibility show, I'll list out my favorite, you know, uh, half a dozen videos or so that you can follow along with him. And again, start with that five minute mobility routine and then consider some of the other routines in the show notes. All right, everyone. So here's to increased health and wellness. And as my cousin Russ told me, motion is lotion. This is Rob Kaiser. And thank you. In a world of pain, what can I do? The needs are many, and answers are few. People turn away, and I wonder why. If I can help. Stand together, we'll never